Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, some very mysterious new information uh, that was just released about an object, an unknown object, near the planet Neptune that is baffling the astronomers that have detected it. So, this new discovery uh, shows we do not know everything about our universe and how space works. Um, we have a lot to learn. And so they detected an object near Neptune that does not move or act like any other body we've seen before it. And they don't know what it is. They're calling it a trans-Neptunian object, or TNO. And the way this thing is orbiting, it's actually moving backwards around our sun. Whereas every other body in the solar system orbits one way, this object is going backwards. And it's currently above the plane of the solar system and is actually moving upwards, which also makes it very odd. They actually have a nickname for this object and they're calling it Niku, which is actually Chinese for rebellious. Uh, so they discovered this object, they don't know what it is, but they do know that it's too small to be a planet and too large to be an asteroid or a comet. Uh, it's 160,000 times fainter than Neptune, and this thing is swinging backwards around our sun, opposite to every other object in our solar system. Now, an astronomer at Queen's University tweeted on Monday and said that, quote, I hope everyone has buckled their seatbelts because the outer solar system just got a lot weirder. Matthew Holman at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics added, and I quote, It suggests that there's a lot more going on in the outer solar system than we're fully aware of. So is this an artificial object? Due to the fact that it's acting with very unusual behavior, and if it's not a planet, and it's not a comet, then what is it? And why is it acting the way it is? And the fact that mainstream scientists and astronomers are publicly stating that they have no idea and they can't explain it really does justify the mystery and suspicion about whatever this object is. So uh, very strange and hopefully we'll have more updates soon about this unusual object that is lurking beyond Neptune and we will definitely follow up with it. Neptune seems to be uh, in the news a lot lately, I've been finding. If you remember, we recently posted another video talking about that new discovery where they had found a massive vortex that had appeared on Neptune uh, that was as big as the United States, and they couldn't understand how it got there. Neptune is definitely a planet that we need to be studying. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest by NASA. Uh, there aren't any really plans in the near future to be visiting Neptune. I'd say NASA needs to get their priorities in order. Uh, so on to some other very mysterious news. We have some awesome UFO sightings to show you, some new analysis of structures found on Earth and both in space. Uh, the next of which, some very anomalous things caught above the moon in some panoramic Apollo 11 moon images. And I will put the coordinates to both of these anomalies, which you will then be able to find using the Google Earth software, which you can download and you can explore the moon and take a look at these anomalies yourself. So here we are on Google Earth. And as you can see, um, they've stitched these images together to create this 360 degree panorama. So you can turn all the way around, you can look around, you see uh, the lander there, you see the shadow of the astronaut taking the pictures. Um, it's really, really cool. And so, just kind of giving you an idea of what we're looking at here, um, but there are some very anomalous things. Uh, here is the main point of reference that I want you to look at is this object caught in the sky, which definitely looks like an alien craft of some sort. It's sure not one of ours. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and you can already see it. And the viewer who sent this in said that this thing looks almost identical to the Reaper ship from the Mass Effect video game. And uh, it does have a very strange shape, but this thing looks like a craft to me. You can see it has what look like some arms protruding out from the bottom area of this thing. You can see the sunlight reflecting off of it. 
And again, uh, the astronauts have admitted that they saw objects flying overhead, watching them while they were on the moon during these moon landings. So this very well could be one of them. I mean, again, look at this thing. This thing looks like a craft. This looks artificial without a doubt. This is not some artifact. This is an object. It has characteristics to it. The sunlight is reflecting off of it. Once again, taken from the Apollo 11 panorama on Google Earth. You can visit the coordinates below and check it out for yourselves. Now let's move on to the second finding that was brought to our attention this time through an Apollo 16 moon landing panorama where you'll see we have the rover here. We'll go ahead and move around just to show you, give you an idea of what this... I mean, I love this. This is awesome. These are some beautiful pictures of the moon. Uh, you can look around and once again, we stumble upon another object hiding in the distance above the lunar surface. Let's go ahead and zoom in and... Yet again, we have a very anomalous structure. This time looks to be much closer to the moon's surface. And, um, yeah, th this thing definitely uh, has a differing shape from the first craft we showed you. And it definitely does not look man-made, uh, nor did we have any man-made objects that looked like these UFOs above the moon at that time. Uh, so, again, uh, visit this on Google Earth. Uh, we'll go ahead and exit this panorama just to kind of show you how it works and we'll zoom out here. Um, you can see here this is the Apollo 16 landing site and um, you can find these awesome panoramic images. Yeah, two amazing findings. So big thanks to Mr. Metz who emailed me with these. Check out the coordinates down in the video description. Now let's move on to some other sightings. Uh, we have a new video from Detroit. And I must warn you, it does contain some adult language. So if you have children in the room, you may want them to exit. Uh, I did not want to take out the audio because it adds to the authenticity when you can hear the reaction of the guy recording this. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, check out these strange lights captured over Detroit. Nigga, ain't no drone looking like that, my nigga. Hell no, what the fuck is that? Oh, hell no. What is that, bro? I'm putting this shit. see what they do. Nigga, they just sitting there in the fucking air. It's probably a drone, nigga. Nigga, don't know drones look like that, bro. Fuck you, babe, man. Don't call my phone, bro. What the fuck is that, dog? That shit crazy. You don't hear it, man. That's what I'm saying. They just sitting in the air. They just sitting in the fucking sky, dog. Nigga, they just sitting in the sky. Nigga, when the fuck you seen drones fucking... They got lights, nigga. Nigga, you can put a light on anything. Okay, all right. I can't see this bitch. Nigga. I can see it. Like, Dog, what the fuck are these, cuz? Oh, hell no. They just sitting in the fucking sky. All the bitch ain't even fucking... No, they sitting there. They ain't even fucking moving. Come over here, dog. Come over here. Look. Nigga, that shit crazy. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hey, man. They fucking, like, now they getting together and shit. What the fuck? Nah, they really sweet. They could fly them bitches around each other. They ain't fucking drones, cuz. Talking about if they really I sweet. I seen some shit. No, I seen some shit the other day with something big and black as hell, nigga, going, going that way. All right. So... <laughs> This was captured over Detroit, near Joy Road and the Southfield area. And uh, as you just saw, the source of it, who emailed me, said that there were these two glowing orbs just sitting in the sky, moving steadily. Um, they would at times move very close together, almost as if they were artificially controlled. I mean, uh, both thought that they were artificial, and that they were moving as if under control, but one of the sources, again, thought that they were drones, uh, but again, I don't see the purpose of having two bright glowing drones, nor have I seen drones that look like this at night. Uh, so, very strange. Caught over Detroit last night. Um, once again, more formations of these lights. We've been seeing them everywhere, getting tons of emails featuring them. And so, if you were in the area, definitely shoot me an email, and big thanks to the source who sent this in. Now to some other very strange things that have been happening. You're seeing some new images here of these very bizarre clouds that appeared over Memphis, Tennessee recently. 
and a lot of these images were featured on uh, the Memphis News um, when local residents saw this unnatural looking formation in the clouds and I mean look at this thing um, a beautiful image here of this thing over top of this bridge here and what was also very strange about it is that the weather experts could not explain it um, they could not explain what type of cloud it was nor how it was created so that definitely added to the mystery and if you are from Memphis then you'll know what I'm talking about and you probably saw this too but it was very strange. The weatherman could not explain it or account for it or why it was there to begin with. It just kind of appeared out of nowhere. So people began uh, tweeting it and posting these images to their Instagrams. And um, yeah, beautifully bizarre, we'll just say. Now, here we have another set of images uh, taken of what the source described as a flying fireball um, moving over the city. Uh, he actually didn't mention in his email which city this was. Uh, so hopefully one of you guys can take a look at this and tell me which city it is. Um, but we have two images here captured by the source who said that he was having a movie night in his apartment. Um, it was about 2 a.m. Uh, he said after it was all over, he closed all the lights in his house and suddenly noticed through the window a yellow fireball looking UFO moving through the sky. Now, he said he, he didn't get any video because he was extremely low on space on his phone, but he did do the next best thing. He snapped some images of this object, and um, we'll go ahead and zoom in here on these, giving you uh, an idea of what he was seeing that night. And uh, yeah, it does look like a, a fireball of sorts. And yet again, some more uh, anomalous activity, unexplained activity happening in our skies that has been ramping up one last image to show you guys because I rarely get to show you guys some of the cool images that are sent in to me. Usually I try to focus on video footage um, so I've gotten a lot of photos as well that I've never gotten to publish so that's why I wanted to show you guys some of those tonight. Uh, a last image here of a very large glowing craft shooting down what sort of looks like a beam of sorts captured during a lightning storm in Las Vegas. Uh, the source said that he was driving through Vegas when he took this picture and shared it on his Facebook and Twitter. And as you can see, when he was driving through these storms um, and this lightning would hit, um, at one point, this bright saucer-shaped object appeared in one of the images. And as we zoom in, you can see another one of these large beams of light that we've talked about in past videos. We've shown you countless images of these beams. And um, yeah, a very interesting image. So big thanks to the source for that. Uh, now, lastly, I want to end this video with an oldie from an early Secure Team video uh, in 2014 featuring one of my very favorite UFO sightings ever captured. And for all of you who are new to the channel who maybe haven't seen this footage, it was captured on an HD webcam on the coast of Australia and um, capture some very anomalous UFO activity happening over the beach. Uh, so let's go ahead and play the video. Oh man, this is the old Secure Team uh, intro here. Um, definitely one of my first attempts at creating an intro. Oh boy. And so, uh, captured over Surfer's Paradise, Australia, November of 2013, this massive craft was captured moving along the beach shining lights down below so check this out Uh, so again, 
captured over Australia. One of my favorite sightings and uh, just one of the many gems that you will find if you go back in time and check out some of our earliest videos. And uh, to this day has still not been explained. So this is the type of sighting I wish I could have been at in person and actually saw this thing um, shining its lights down on the beach below. Just, uh, just amazing. So, I mean, a lot of cool stuff going on. Let me know what you guys think about this new mysterious object, unexplained object they found near Neptune, the new moon anomalies we've shown you, the strange vortex-like clouds, the lights over Detroit, a lot of very mysterious things happening. Uh, so, thanks for watching and stopping by. Hit the like button on the way out. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned because I've got a lot more coming. Stop over on social media and say what's up. Uh, and I'll see you back soon in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.